What's up, creatives? Midjourney released the style reference, and it is a parameter to give you consistent style. So if you recall in version 5.2, we had the tuner that I thought worked really well, and I still use it. And this time we have a style reference, which is going to be a tricky thing here because it worked very well. Uh, so let's take a look at this. The prompt. This was the image from a few videos ago that I that I was looking for a style for a comic, a graphic novel, and this is the style that I settled on. And there were a couple more, but this is was the look I was going for. So this is the image that is our style reference for the most of the images you'll see coming forward. So what I did was simple. I went to ChatGPT and I had it give me a prompt for an image. And this was the prompt. Very simple. And what I didn't do was ask it to do anything else. I just said, describe this scene for me. And it described the scene in Midjourney. So in Midjourney, I did the image, the Dolly prompt, and then I simply did the aspect ratio and the reference. And of course, version six. The parameter SREF does not work with 5.2, so you have to use version six. And so without any image reference, without just the, the description and the style reference, this is what I got, which is pretty good. This is close, we could upgrade it and, you know, uh, get it cleaned up and everything. But for the most part, this is the look that I want. But aspect ratio aside, there's still this thing about composition. How close can we get to the composition? So therefore we go to the image reference. So I put the image reference in and then I use everything else, Dolly prompt, the style reference, and what you notice right away is that the color of the image does impact the style. So the, the colors that you have in your reference image does impact that final outcome. Now the composition is right when we compared it to the, to the original image. So if we go back, you can see that we got the composition. And the style did seep through. So we have the style, we have the composition, every fine, but we want to take it a little, little bit further. So on the next one, what I did was I just lowered the weight of the image. And I took it from basically one to one with the prompt to 0.25. And you can see it, it did something different. It put a man in there. The style seemed to seep through a little bit more. We got more of the uh, orange, but we got some stuff that, you know, this guy out here floating around. He got some weird stuff going on, but for the most part, the style di did kind of seep through and the composition came through a little bit as well. Okay. So now what we can do with the, with this style reference image is that we can put a weight on the style reference and I went all the way up. So I remove the weight of the image and just put all of the weight on the style reference. And this is what we got. And what we can see here is that the style came through a little bit more, especially with the colors, the composition came through more from the actual reference image. So I did like this one. Now it's not that close to the original reference image and mainly because the style of the reference image is not the same style as the, as the style reference. That is something that I did notice too, is that if you're going to use a reference image, you may want to get something close to the same style, but Dolly three could not create, um, this style. So, um, 
is is something to be aware of. Okay. So one more time said point one, lower the weight of the image and increase the style weight. So between these two, you can see the composition is different. Uh, we got darker tones and the style is coming through, but between 900 and 950, I'm not seeing that big of a difference. So I'm not sure if that um, weighs in. I think I, if I'm going to use a reference image, I think I want the composition to show. So I would probably err on the side of increasing the style weight and getting the composition that I want with the reference image. Okay. So this was another test. I wanted to see just how much the color does impact. Uh, the And so we had the exact same prompt, except that I asked Dolly to add in very specific colors. So purple, gold with some magenta. And you can see from it, even with the style weight and the image weight, the style weight all the way up, the image weight all the way down to point one. Overall style came through, but the colors, you get that color that bleeds in from the from the reference image. So there's something so there's something to be said here. So where do we where okay. Now with that said, how do we kind of balance this out? If I have additional images, kind of where would I land with something like this? And I think where I'm going to land is having the style weight come through a little bit more and then having the, maybe taking the weight down of the image some, but the weight of the image doesn't seem to matter that much as far as the color is concerned, it's just really impacting the composition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to take this 500 and I am going to come in here and I am going to do my prefer suffix. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the, the other images that I had Dolly create. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's download these images. Okay. So we'll take this prompt and we'll upload these three images. And now we can just go in image. I will drag this down, control and enter. You know what? I forgot the V6. Let's have V6. What did I miss? So uh, I think I messed up the prefer subject. Okay. Yeah. So I messed this up. Let's go ahead and fix that. So we got both of them in there. All right. So let's do that again. And I have to do an image, drag it in. I'm going to keep the weight, come back here, copy, paste it. All right. So we have that one. Now we will go to number two. We'll take this copy, image, drag that in. Paste the number two in, and then we'll go to number three. And then, okay. And as, ex as expected, the color, we'll come back, give that time to open, that time to open. Okay. So he's suspected the color comes through. Right. So whatever the original was is going to drive the final color output of the image. Okay. So, so I would say this, this would be my conclusion that the style reference is a great starting point to get the style. But if you're using a reference image, then it's going to be different. So let's say if we come in here and we just remove and we remove the reference image and then we see what we get. Okay. So we're, we will remove the reference image and we'll see what happens here. But the main thing of it is, is that you can see from this image here, if we were to look at the reference image and look at the color, I'll go back to 
we're seeing the color of this reference image and you can see the color of the final image. Same thing here. We can see the color. If we look at the reference image, there's a lot of pink going on and that shines in through here. And then we get the final color here, which we have the blues and orange. And so this kind of comes through nicely. All right. Now, Without the reference image, you can see that we get really what the original image was. So I'm of the mindset that you can see there's the issue is the composition, right? Like this one is not as dramatic as this one. So that's what the difference is. So it will, I think with version six, I mean, Dolly prompting and Dolly three, it's not the same as prompting in mid journey. There's some things that you have to adjust. So if you really wanted this look without the reference image, it's going to take some different prompting to get it there. But overall, the style reference is a very, very strong. It's a strong parameter. I mean, it is really doing exactly what you want it to do it is doing what we've always wanted to do with the tuner it's a little different but with this style reference it is doing exactly what we wanted to do the differences are the reference image if you have a reference image you have to get that reference image as close to the colors and the style that you are actually using as a reference that's my takeaway here so overall i think it works a great feature. I cannot wait till they use this to start going towards that consistent characters because I think that's coming. But the style reference is one of those things that is is a big deal when it comes to being consistent with with the look. It makes it a lot easier because I'm just using one image. That's that's another point. We're only using one image, so that makes it even better. Now considerations knowing that you can just go to the mid journey gallery and grab an image and use that as a reference are people going to be upset about that well you know what this is the ethical dilemma of art digital art and ai art to begin with so just know that if you put any image out there and it looks cool it is one of those things that you can grab and and use and the fact that we have so many different compositions and that style is coming through really means that you're going to be able to do some really creative stuff with this. So, all right, that is it, creatives. I think that the style reference is a great little tool. And if you're still listening, please subscribe and like the video and share it. All right, until next time.